Hello and welcome to the Angry Gorilla Sports Network. My name is Josh Luce, the Angry Gorilla. You're watching a video of me playing here in Lincoln, Nebraska at the Jim Ager Par 3 course. Uh, it's a nice, well-maintained Par 3 course. It gets a lot of traffic, but they keep it in, in very nice shape. And it's one of my primary practice courses for uh, my new Hickory set of golf clubs. Started playing the game uh, about four months ago, give or take, mid-April 21, and it's mid-August uh, at this point, and I'm still getting used to hitting them, uh, the distances, the feel, uh, it's a lot different than the modern game, but to be honest, I absolutely love it. Um, right now, we're on the third hole, uh, and didn't, didn't do myself any favors with that tee shot, I actually ended up in a bunker, didn't catch the bunker shot on video, unfortunately. Had the camera in the wrong spot, but uh, you get to see a, a fine three putt here. Uh, my my putting has been uh, very inconsistent as of late, uh, but you know, chalk it up to getting to know uh, different clubs a little bit. Some days I'm really good, some days not so much. This was one of the not so much days, but you know, when when you're using really unforgiving technology that's over a hundred years old, that sometimes the way it goes. Um, I'm going to walk you through some of the clubs that I hit eventually. I'm going to uh, show you some of the uh, different uh, different clubs in my bag. Um, my primary playing set is only eight, uh, eight clubs, actually, uh, including driver and putter. Um, pretty much... Uh, the, the longest club I've got is a uh, is my driver, of course. That goes without saying. It's kind of in the neighborhood. If I hit it right, it's about two thirty, maybe, maybe, uh, <laughs> but probably closer to two ten, two twenty. Um, and then my irons, I just have to adapt. I've uh, I have a two iron that I can hit one hundred and eighty. If uh, you know, again, if I do it absolutely right, uh, this one here was about one hundred and thirty yards to the hole. So I played. The club that uh, you have to kind of chop down on a little bit. It's called a mashy. It's it, for me. It goes anywhere between 130 and 150, just kind of depending on the grip and and swing speed. Um, it was a pretty good shot, actually. It just rolled over the green, um, flopped it up. Would have liked to have been a little closer, but you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, like I say, it's a learning experience. The game of hickory golf. Um, even, you know, the relatively new here, it is an entirely different animal. Um, modern clubs are definitely more forgiving. Uh, about the, the only, the, the closest equivalent would be as if you're using uh, a, a set of blade irons. Uh, but even then, your, your feel is going to be a little different. Um, it's the creativity in hickory golf is a lot different as well because you typically don't have a club for every distance or every shot. You have to um, you have to make do and be creative with with some of the shots that you hit. Now this one was about 110 yards, actually about 105, I guess, and I hit what's called a uh, niblick, which is kind of uh, about a sand wedge, I guess. And I was just a hair long. Uh, got it really, really high flight. The the ball tracer was was a little slow, but it, you know it's wasn't too bad. And I made a nice little comebacker to to par on this one. I'm um, gonna skip ahead a little bit. A couple of shots. Uh, I've I've got two more, but I uh, want to call into the the last shot you're gonna see. I hit my two iron, and one of the uh, very real possibilities, uh, every once in a while your equipment's going to break, um, just like modern, but this was a different break. The actual shaft of the club snapped on me. Um, it was kind of right, right up the middle, just like it splintered, and um, you'll be able to see in the ball flight, because the tracer's a little weird, and the ball did almost exactly what the tracer uh, shows, but... Uh, I'm going to do some more of these videos, uh, take you along on the journey. Uh, 
be happy to answer any questions. I haven't been doing it long, but I enjoy it, and I, I want to get as many people into it as possible. Uh, so until next time, uh, this is Josh, the Angry Gorilla, saying thanks.